Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to the next episode of Halal Clicks. In this video, we're going to talk about the Nook HD9 uh, from Barnes & Nobles in greater details. Uh, right away, you have this newspaper-like uh, display uh, home screen. Um, this doesn't have a front facing camera. The bezels are hard plastic. On the flip side, you have a rubbery feeling. So it's a matte finish, good to hold. There's one speaker on the bottom, left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, you have this, I don't know, key holder or this hole. I don't know why they put it. Um, right next to it is your uh, available uh, uh, expansion slot for micro SD and on the top I, I hope this is the top so this is your power button or actually these are the volume uh, rockers next to it is your uh, uh, headphone jack on the right hand side right edge you have your power button uh, and on the uh, left hand side there's nothing and um, the bottom so at the bottom again this is your uh, micro SD slot and here this is your uh, charging port so I'm just gonna use the uh, landscape orientation because you get to see the screen a little more uh, this has a 1920 by uh, uh, 1280 uh, resolution at a PPI of 256 first thing uh, we're gonna jump into a Quran book let's uh, look at this this one uh, this has a dual core processor um, T1 processor from uh, you know all map we can expect the speed to be sufficient uh, but uh, let's just see we're gonna do a couple of tests app tests and browser test uh, one thing I do notice that you can really go really fast uh, the pages doesn't go in par with the speed of your finger like I'm swiping very fast and it's going slowly so uh, I don't like this <clears throat> it's just a bit I find it lagging it's slow change the font to change the background to however you like um, I'm just gonna keep it white get out of this if you tap on uh, the screen while you're reading then the bottom stuff is gonna come up the bottom options you can uh, you know go forward and backward to whatever pages you want to and the bottom right hand corner of the screen this is kind of like your task manager click on this it shows you the recent activities that you've done recent apps uh, and documents that you open it's gonna get out of this place um, on top you have your left you have your profile then you have you can add in another profile and more profiles and give them specific restrictions or whatever rights you want to give them and these are pages to add anything to this page is very easy just uh, tap and hold and let's say I have my files and apps and books so if I want to bring one book from here just drag it over another book drag it over so that's very simple and get out of that and I'm gonna go back to home let's go to library on the right hand side you have library apps web email shop I like this setup uh, set of tools uh, better than the Kindles Kindles have it uh, the strip on top so that's difficult to locate these are easier to locate so I, I like these better um, so on the library you have all your stuff you have your books that you downloaded or purchased magazines you subscribe to or purchase movies TVs apps kids there are specific books and kids I know there's a section the Nook shop we're gonna go there catalogs newspapers my shelves personalized shelf scrapbook and then all that stuff and you have your my files you haven't copied any files to the device yet you could use your USB um, to uh, copy over files um, so we're gonna go to uh, let's go to apps it came with about 11 apps built in I downloaded some ice village crosswords and, uh, and the Oregon trail I think um, it doesn't have YouTube app you got to go to the browser use the browser and then go to the app check the web we're gonna do it in later email I couldn't finish setting up uh, let's go to shop shop is portrait oriented um, uh, so I'm gonna just rotate it and use the screen this way so you have your books magazine movies kids apps um, books is what Barnes & Nobles is I guess famous for so they will have uh, as you can expect the one of the most ex extensive selection of books just like Amazon bookstore uh, and they'll have bestsellers and releases and recommend recommended books and all of that. Let's go back from here. Then you have magazines, movies. Uh, let's go to apps and then we're going to take a look at uh, movies just to see the video quality. It's going to play uh, full 80, 1080p movies. Uh, so apps. Apps, um, if I go to, let's say, category, browse categories, if I go to games and... Um, so it is kind of fast, uh, I'd like to say that. Uh, it's 1.5 gigahertz versus the Nook 7 inch that is 1.3 gigahertz. If I click on explore all games, you'll see that there's only like a little bit over 3,000 games as opposed to on Android market has like 200,000 plus games and 
um, iOS um, has like half a million games. So games is very limited. So if you refine and do price sorting uh, low to high, you'll only find maybe like a couple of games that are free and they're not even high, high rated. So, you know, like what? Maybe like 50 games, maybe free. Um, and then, um, and then if you look for the free titles, let's say Angry Birds, right? So these games are um, usually free in other platforms. And those games are not free here because um, developers aren't giving away free games in this platform. Uh, that's another thing we're going to search for. Let's say, for example, another popular game that's free. It's called uh, Temple Run. Many of you have, uh, may have played that. So even Temple Run costs, and that's the brave old version. They're even here. So I know it's got limited... Uh, apps very limited apps so very poor i'd say um and this is something you may have to consider if you're into games this is not for you uh let's get out of this and then let's go to movies in the movie section i'm going to try to play a sample movie let's play brave uh let's play the trailer it stands 12 feet tall Chomp! dad's leg was clean off oh that's my favorite part <laughs> Enjoy. So the display is uh, really good, I'd say. And, and, and then the speaker is in one direction, uh, unidirectional, so probably going this way, uh, versus the other speaker from Kindles are going both directions. So the speaker is kind of poor in this. All right, so that's shopping, the video quality we've seen. Let's go to the web. Um, by default, it takes you to Barnes & Noble website. We're going to test uh, <clears throat> a couple of websites. We're going to test for pins and zoom. So pincing out and zoom in and out. This is more uh, responsive than um, than the seven inch version. So I guess this is okay. I have no complaint. If it is uh, consistently performing this way, though it's not real time. So pinch and zoom is good. And then uh, as I zoom in, uh, rendering of the font is cool. So it works. Let's go to a different site. So by default, it's using Google as the browser. We'll go to the Al Jazeera website. It's got a lot of content. Uh, as you're browsing, as you're scrolling, these uh, front and the bottom bar they disappear I think I don't know how I did that okay so now as I'm reading it the top bar is gone editor bar is gone it's giving you more screen real estate so that's something I like but this bottom bar is, is stubborn uh, if you click this icon I think it it uh, saves that in your history and uh, the bookmark pages and you're gonna get out of this place let's go to a different site salatomatic.com um, keyboard response is good um, so Salatomatic is here. It found the, I guess, I don't know why it went to the i version of this, probably the mobile version. Let's get out of this and let's go to Halal Clicks. So site loading up speed, uh, browser speed is fine. Um, it's okay. Uh, and I like it, there's no complaint on that section. Let's go to uh, Quran.com. Um, and also gonna see if the Arabic is good. This is not your actual Arabic language. These are your, uh, uh, these are images. So if I, you know, turn off, turn them off, you'd see the images are gone. This is with Tashkil or without Tashkil on the left hand side. These are your actual Arabic. So if I do without Tashkil also. Uh, so it's legible. So good thing here is that uh, it supports uh, Arabic better than Kindle. Kindle distorts it. So you can't really read uh, Arabic and Kindle. So here it's good. It's a plus point. Though the uh, with the Tashkil version has some distortion. It's just jumbling. But this version you can read. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Um, so Quran is good. Quran reading. And any kind of reading is good in Nook. Um, before we finish the uh, web test, I'm going to go to YouTube and see the YouTube experience using this uh, this Nook. There's no app for it. Again, um, I looked online. Again, let's see. And I'm going to refine it to apps only. So there's no app called YouTube. So that's annoying, uh, especially because they have the Hulu Plus. We're back to the web at YouTube. I think it's uh, going to go to desktop version by default it took the mobile version it's a no mobile because of one okay so youtube looks okay um i'm gonna try to look for to update the download the flash you could update it i think yourself let's search for quran here and i'm gonna try to play this and we'll see the hmm is it not supporting looks like uh, there's a problem with the flash it's not playing this um i tapped on that Okay, now it's playing. I don't know if it's the HTML5 uh, version or if it's the Flash. Another annoying thing about this uh, YouTube experience is you can't really, as you tap, you need to 
tap on this bottom right hand corner that you know uh, full screen button otherwise it doesn't automatically full screen and again this bottom bar is here that's annoying I mean, your whole video is lifted up it's not you know it's giving you less of the real estate it goes away but look at the video there's a letter boxing a little bit on top and a lot at the bottom so that doesn't even make sense get out of this so again um, YouTube experience uh, is much I mean it's same as uh, or similar to the uh, iPad experience choppy uh, here uh, in some zoom still works but uh, I don't like the fact that you have to press on another button here for full screen it should automatically full screen so I don't like that let's get out of that and um, when to go to our games apps actually yeah Apps. Uh, there's no section specifically for games, so you'll have to go in the apps. And I downloaded Ice Village. Um, checking required file. Oh, it asked me to download something else. Anyway, I'm not going to do that right now. Let's go to get uh, Minesweeper. Maybe you could start that right away. There aren't uh, uh, free enough free games, so I didn't bother buying a game just for the video. Um, uh, but I do uh, expect the video to be uh, uh, quite vibrant because uh, as you've seen uh, the video playback was uh, good it wasn't bad new game square by tapping it clear that square by tapping it again okay so I lost. Anyway, I never understood how you play that Mind Super game. Ever since Windows 95, I've never actually understood the logic behind Mind Super. So what do I think about this? I've got uh, some things that I would like to draw uh, your attention to. Number one, that it doesn't have um, any camera. I mean, how could you call something a tablet with dual core processor, one GB of RAM, and it has an ex ex expandable micro SD slot, and not have camera? That is. Uh, defeats the purpose of having all that feature you know if it's you should just you know they should have just called it a book reader a color book reader or something instead of e-reader you know something like that so no cameras single speaker and this big device uh, not good so especially because it plays such a good high quality video it should complement should have complemented with having at least two two speakers so I didn't like it there and um, I guess the web experience and uh, the hints and zoom and all of that is okay apps are very limited so if you just want a colorful reader uh, colorful e-reader you know of, of your books and magazines then and only then I can recommend you having this otherwise or getting this otherwise uh, if you're in in the market of for getting a tablet a colorful tablet with very good experience and lots of apps I really suggest that you get something from the other side you know from the Amazon guys either the 7 inch or the 8.9 uh, uh, over there because there it has a much uh, good experience. I mean, they're not perfect, but still it's got one camera and a lot of other features that are not present in the Nook. Um, so anyways, that ends this video. I hope uh, you guys liked it and um, uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, leave a comment below of what kind of videos you want to see next. I'll try to make that happen. I'll see you guys next time, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.